Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video, I'm actually going to talk to you guys about how you can improve iOS 7 in terms of battery life, speed, and temperature. So, a lot of people have been complaining about the fact that battery life is awful, the speed, it's very glitchy, and using these tips, it will improve it. Now, understandably, it is still in beta mode, so, you know, that's normal. When you are updating, you can't expect that it won't be perfect, not until the final release. Now, this is beta 3, so it should have been better by now, but many people Apple's iPhones do have battery life problems and the temperature of the iPhone gets really hot. So there are a couple background applications, little tips that I can show you that will improve that. Now I am on beta three. If you aren't, you should be. I know a lot of people are having trouble updating as well. And I will post a video tomorrow showing you guys how to update successfully if you are on beta one or beta two. But in the meantime, you can use these couple of tips to make your iOS seven experience better. So there are a couple things in settings that haven't been optimized that you should turn off for now until until they have been fixed. Uh, the number one thing for me was, you know, if you go into mail contacts calendar right here and then go to push and turn that thing off. So this basically just doesn't work very well and it works in the background full time, which makes my iPhone cook. And I, when I reach for it in my pocket, it's really, really hot. Uh, another thing that does help is if you guys do go into privacy, location services, and you guys want to go to system services and toggle most of these off, which ones you don't need, because these also work in the background and they aren't very optimized. So they do use a lot of extra juice from your phone. And lastly, go into general accessibility. And in here, you want to go ahead and select reduce motion and toggle that on. So now when you go to your home screen, you won't have that 3D effect anymore, but I wouldn't use it in the first place because it is actually a huge drain. Now, I don't know if that's just the feature or if it's not optimized in general, but for now, keep it off. And using these three tips, guys, you will notice a significant improvement in battery life and speed. Also, if you guys are experiencing more issues, then you can always restore to iOS 7 beta 3 from a clean update, but you know, that will mean that you do have to register your UDID. In my next video, I will show you guys how to successfully update to iOS 7 beta 3 for all the people having problems. I do hope this video helped you guys enjoy iOS 7 with you know better battery life and improved speed. Have a great day, guys. Peace.